seen red. Lots of it this year at Carmel. If those new uniforms keep producing 56 points. I'd wear them every game, maybe every practice. Welcome back to the nation. Alongside third-year head coach Golden Anderson, I'm John Devine. And Golden, you changed uniforms on me without notice there. Yeah, we just changed it up for the first game. Personally, I like the all red, but on my blog, we've had a few alumni coming out saying they missed the silver. Uh, what prompted the change? We ordered some new um, pants anyway, red pants, and they happened to come in right before the first game. So we, we showed them to the kids and gave them to them, and they wanted to wear them. So it was up to them. It wasn't, wasn't my decision. I mean, it looked good anyway. Dress code aside, 56 points in the season opener against a Tri-County Athletic League opponent is an impressive start. Were you a little surprised? Yeah, we're always surprised if there's a high score. We don't, we don't go in there trying to score a bunch of points. We're, we're trying to just take advantage of the opportunities we get on offense. Obviously, we'd like to score every time we have it and stop them a couple times and see what happens. But, you know, it, it ended up being 56. It was a pretty, pretty quiet game, I guess, by what everybody thinks of us prior to that. But we're, we're just looking to win by a point, so we don't care how many points we get. Well, this really isn't. I guess the rules have probably been averaging over 43, 44 points a game in the last two years. So, you know, you know what everyone's talking about, though, is what you guys did on the ground. You insert a sophomore to tailback and Holden Smith, and he ties a single-game school record for touchdowns with six, and he comes up with 244 yards rushing. Now, you told me to watch for this guy before the season started. But you couldn't imagine this. No, we don't ever assume that guy could score six touchdowns in a game. <laughs> that was a credit to um, our offensive line, and we broke a couple big plays in the run game. They, they weren't a bunch of one-yard runs, so... We had some big scoring opportunities. We actually had a couple drives where we threw it and we got down to the two-yard line and we ran it in. So it just kind of was like a perfect storm for him. But Yeah, it was a nice start. And someone overshadowed that by the fact that Devin Pearson, your quarterback for the last three years, you know, has rushed for 130 yards through for roughly 170. But I think the beauty of this offense is it does allow you to run or throw. And people, I think people look at you kind of as a pass-happy team, and that's not necessarily the case. Yeah, we people can look at us however. We're, we're just trying to take what the defense gives us and – yeah, we'd love to be balanced, and that's great, but some games it's more run, some games it's more pass, and our kids buy into that. Our kids don't really care if it's run or pass. They're just trying to get first downs. And obviously you tinker with the offense each year based on the personnel. But you still got a quarterback over there that's thrown for 6,000 yards the last year. It's probably no better quarterback in the county. But balance, I mean, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, we were, <laughs> we, were, we were within eight yards of being perfectly balanced between run yards and pass yards last year. So... That's kind of what we want to be. We'd love to be almost dead even. That makes us a lot tougher to defend. Sure. And hey, before we get out of here, you upgraded your non-league schedule this year by adding North Salinas, and you got Salinas later this month. Your reasons were simple. You said you want to do a better job of stopping a run. Uh, somewhat of an Achilles heel last year. That first game, passing great? Yeah, we, we, we struggled a little bit in the run and pass game, but it was our first game. And, and against a quality opponent, that's always going to magnify any of your weaknesses, and that's kind of what we were looking for. So okay. take those things and adjust. When we come back, we're going to talk to two members of the three-time MTAL champions.